What is your main grudge? And I'm here to talk to, to the, you today, I think this is week six, about Mr. Grudge. And Mr. Grudge will work for our Authentic Happiness Coaching um, reenactment. Uh, and, and so a grudge, again, doesn't do you any good. You hold it inside. But forgiving and forgetting are two different things. You can forgive somebody for yourself, for your blood pressure, for your health, for your well-being, but not let them back into their life or not they'll do it again. So that's oftentimes, you know, we have that old saying, forgive and forget. Sometimes that's appropriate. Sometimes it isn't. It depends on how big Mr. Grudge is. So this homework is fairly simple this week. Um, what you do is to identify that grudge, Mr. Grudge, and Mr. Grudge goes in the middle of your paper. You can see him right there, and he's the frowny face. And I want you to name him. He doesn't have to be Mr. Grudge. You can name him whatever you want. That guy who cut me off in the traffic, my mother-in-law who forgot to send me a birthday card, um, all, any of that stuff. Um, I suggest starting with the smaller grudge and working your way up um, as you learn to forgive. I did this homework with a really big grudge and it really helped me, but I had to wait a few years before it was appropriate or before I could do that. Um, be mainly because it was still, I was still in the middle of it and it took a while for me to have some good things come from that. So the other piece of the Mr. Grudge homework is all these happy faces. And I call these the happy who's and Mr. Grudge the Grinch. Um, and what you do is you draw happy circles for every good thing that you got from that. A really simple um, example is that I got upset with the State Department of Revenue over some tax things that were just confusing. I'm not in any trouble. Um, but anyway, they were it was just, it followed me around and I was kind of mad and upset with them. So anyway, I finally reached out to them and they were able to help me. And I learned a lot about business and a lot about taxes. And I think I take my business more seriously. And it really made me think about marketing more and making more money and being how to reach out to people more. So it wasn't a bad thing in the end. Um, and that's what the little happy faces are. And the more positive emotion you can raise around what happened, the better it's going to be and the easier it is to let go of that grudge and let your blood pressure come down. That's all today and uh, we'll see you next week.